So Trump's been indicted again, and MAGA's all butt hurt. More hurt this time than there was over Kid Rock and the beer. And I'm sitting over here thinking to myself, though, you know, if he was really paying attention to what the guy was saying, he's actually admitted to conning them all along. And they've been so busy pumping their fists and repeating his cliches that they haven't noticed that he's actually admitted to being a con artist right to their faces, and they still love him. He said, if they say something good about me, I say it's tremendous, and I agree with it. If they say something bad about me, I call it fake news to discredit it. Back in 2016, he ran on the premise that he would lock up Hillary Clinton. Then when he was asked later, why didn't you lock up Hillary Clinton? He talked about what a terrific woman she was and how the reason he wasn't going to lock her up is because that played well before the election. Then he started saying in June, July of 2020, the only way I'll lose this race is if the game is rigged. He went ahead and planted that thought in your mind in case, hey, if I lose this thing, I got an out. Then when he lost, he said, you guys stop counting in the states that I won, but keep counting in the states that I lost until you get the right amount of votes that I need. He promised to build a wall, make Mexico pay for it, didn't happen. Said he had the biggest and the best health care plan, didn't happen. Said he would lock up Hillary Clinton, didn't happen. Now he's saying he'll lock up the Biden crime family. That's his new technique. And he's a billionaire who needs your money. People will say, oh, well, he loves this country. He's doing this because he don't need the money. Well, he's grifting you out of your money. And when people like me points it out, I know it stings because you fell for it. I know this is going to be years from now like that vanilla ice tape that you never wanted to admit you actually owned, but you're just going to have to go ahead and own it. You've been had. You've been conned by a billionaire who had a history of screwing the system. Oh, and he told you guys, cheating on your taxes is smart. That's a smart thing to do. He told you cheating was a smart thing to do. Put it right over your head. He wouldn't never cheat. Hell no. Trump wouldn't cheat on nothing. Keep buying those trading cards, I guess.